Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we're going to talk about the at switch conditional rendering syntax in Angular. So what is at switch? Let me give you a concrete example. Let's say that we have here some data, a list of courses that is getting displayed here using this course card component. Now let's say that we have here a category property that can be intermediate, beginner or advanced. And we would like to display here different labels below the course description in order to identify the category. Imagine that you would like to display different badges. So let's then go ahead and let's implement this using a switch. So I'm going to create here a div that is going to have here the class course category. Now let's go ahead and let's add here the at switch syntax. So this works exactly like a switch statement in plain JavaScript. So you want to put in here an expression for which you are going to be building here multiple case blocks. In our case, it's going to be the course dot category property. So this property here, it can have several different values. So let's cover here the different cases. We're going to use here the at case syntax and here we're going to put the matching expression. So if the category is beginner, then we're going to add here some user interface for it. So let me add here a div. We're going to add a class here. Let's give it the CSS class category. And let's just put in here the text beginner. So you could imagine that here we would be applying a special batch to the beginner category, for example. Now, all we have to do for the other cases is to add here another case block and cover here the category, for example, intermediate. And we're going to put in here intermediate and the same thing for the category advanced. So this would be a third possible case and you can add as many as you want. I'm going to add here the advanced case. And here I'm just changing here the names of the categories displayed, but you could have a completely different user interface per category with different icons, different colors, different CSS classes, etc. So these are the three known cases. But what if we have here a course, let's say, for example, this one, which is of category unknown. So it's none of the known case clauses here. In that case, we can add here the at default syntax and we can add here a default user interface for the case unknown. So now we have here a full example of how to use a switch. Let's go ahead and uh, let's hit command S and see here the user interface in action. So we can see here that this course, the first one on the list is of category intermediate. This one is unknown. We can see here and this one is advanced. So as you can see, Depending on the value of this expression, at switch is choosing only one of the case clauses, just like you would expect in the equivalent JavaScript case block syntax. So this is how at switch works. As you can see, it's very intuitive and easy to reason about. You don't need to import it anywhere in order to be able to use it in your templates it's available for use automatically everywhere in your Angular templates.